Hi, my name is Rich Hanlon. I'm your Wild Neighbors Nature Connection Nature Guide, and today, as I make my way along the Diahoga Trail in Athens, Pennsylvania, along the Susquehanna River, I'm noticing a couple of things. One, it's cold. It's about 28 degrees out here. There's snow flying, and there's snow and ice on the ground, but we are finding ourselves in the midst of one of the first great insect emergent events of the year. The winter stoneflies are hatching, emerging, uh, shedding their exoskeletons, leaving the water of the Susquehanna River, and now they're turning up all over the banks. It's a pretty cool spectacle. Let's take a close look at one of these winter stoneflies. I can see at least five winter stoneflies crawling around on top of the snow in about a six foot radius of where I stand. Here's one of the largest of them. You can see it's got the antennas, six legs, and wings on its back. And if you look at this one over here, you can see the two-pronged tail that's typical of stoneflies. So two-pronged tail, wings on the back, six legs, close to the water, probably a stonefly. The whole population of winter stoneflies will emerge from the river's banks about the same time. And once they shed their exoskeletons, they have little wings on their backs. I haven't seen them doing much flying, but it's like they all leave the river at the same time. They're milling about, walking all over the snow and ice, like they're gathering to have a nice big winter stonefly party. And there's some mixing and mingling that goes on at this party. Four tails and four antennas, that can't be right. Let's get a side view of this one. And as it turns out, that's not one, but two stoneflies. And this is some of that mixing and mingling that goes about at winter stonefly parties along the river's banks. At the end of the party, the female stoneflies will head back to the edge of the water, go back to lay their eggs in the water, and that will complete their life cycle. We only see these winter stoneflies on the, on the, on the land uh, a short time each year, and it is in the winter time, so they're aptly named winter stonefly. Now, the winter stoneflies, as well as other insects that live part of their lives in water, part on land, uh, play a very critical uh, role in the flow of nutrients in the ecosystem. Insects like winter stoneflies are one of the really cool uh, energy links. They, they connect the, the, the nutrients that are held in the water through the decaying, decomposing leaf and uh, stick matter that the, they eat in the water. And then that energy is, and nutrients are transferred through the animals that will eat the stoneflies that haven't managed to successfully make it back to the water after they've had their party. Even though it's only 28 degrees in late February with snow and ice on the ground, this spider is hoping to benefit from the winter stonefly emergence along the river's banks. There's a good chance that this spider is going to make a meal out of at least one or a few of the winter stoneflies before the day's end. Moving up in the food chain, Here's someone that both the spider and the winter stoneflies had better watch out for. American robins have been hanging around the banks of the Susquehanna the past couple of months, eating hackberries and grapes in the branches of the trees and the vines. But now, with the winter stonefly emergence, you can see this whole little river island is filled with uh, both robins and starlings capitalizing on this feast of emerging insects. To bring it full circle, winter stoneflies acquire nutrients like nitrogen through the decaying organic matter like leaves that they eat while they are living under the water surface. Birds like the American robin acquire the nutrients that they need by eating, you guessed it, nutrient-rich bugs. Let's follow the tracks of this American robin as we ponder what happens to those nutrients that once made up the insect's body after it has been eaten and digested by a robin. That's right, everybody poops. And the droppings of the American robin give nutrients back to the land where it can be used by trees and other plants. The fact that we have winter stoneflies at all is a testament to the relative good quality of the water of the Susquehanna. These tiny insects play an incredibly important role in the nutrient flow and support of the food webs along the river's banks here. And isn't it amazing that such a small insect could not only survive, but thrive on top of the snow in the dead of winter. Thanks for joining me. 
along the banks of the Susquehanna River today. My hands are getting cold. So I'm gonna end this video and wish you all a very good nature connection filled day. See you next time.